Hello, hello, hello. So today we are going to be talking all about Malachi in all its beauty. And Malachi, I would have to think most people that are into crystals and have a crystal collection, most people know what Malachi is. And most people have probably have some type of little showpiece of Malachi sitting on their shelf if you collect crystals or in some form of jewelry, very common in jewelry, and bracelets and towers and polish pieces. and It's very common. And the most common, I would think, are kind of what you see here, but polished pieces are very common. They make these in towers, uh, spheres, all types. They're very easy to work with. We have fibrous malachite, which is a little more tricky to work with and keep clean. It will hold dust, so you got to kind of clean this. Even if it's a collectible scent on your shelf, you're still going to want to clean it. It really picks up the dust. But this is a betroidal specimen of malachite with all the little bumps, the way it forms. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff. I mean, look at that. Sparkles, it's got everything. And obviously, deep green, when you're talking about malachite, whether it be slices, it can range from anywhere from a deep, dark green to a light green. And it's, no matter what you have in your collection, it's going to be beautiful. I mean, malachite is just beautiful look at the sparkle on these i mean there's just all kinds of drews you could mainly find malachite in any crystal sh uh, store that you're gonna find locally and all different types so what are we going to discuss today about the metaphysical properties now malachite is kind of well known in terms of one word, the heart, the heart chakra. So love, obviously, you're thinking heart, you're thinking love. You're thinking malachite, you're thinking heart, you're thinking love. And if you aren't, that's pretty much what it embodies. Now, there's many different crystals and minerals that you could use to balance the heart chakra and emotions. Malachite has to be up there as, if not number one, number one. So very, very common in terms of heart chakra. So when you're thinking malachite, you're thinking heart. And this stone is called the stone of transformation. And why is it called that? Well, there's four big things, four keywords when you're talking Malachite. You're talking about balance, you're talking about abundance, manifestation, and intention. And balance is definitely at the top of that list because Malachite is something you're gonna wanna work with for emotional balance. Now this will balance your emotions and bring your emotions to the surface to kind of work with them and release any energy blockages. And specifically, I'm talking heart chakra, I'm talking throat chakra, but it is important to understand, malachite is not just heart-based. Malachite will balance all chakras. So don't just think it's 100% for your heart chakra, and working with emotions, well, it is mainly to release emotions and bring all that to the surface to work with, but it's not just focused on the heart chakra. It will balance all your chakras. That's important, and I wanted to say that, but here's the thing. If you need a deep, deep energy, emotional, clean, like a cleansing, a cleaning, when you're looking for that, malachite is the go-to. And 
it, I'm not talking about just a little scrub brush when you're trying to cleanse. I'm talking about this is like going to the car wash and getting a full blast of emotional cleansing. So what it does is brings up all that emotional energy to the surface and it can definitely release all the positive or excuse me, the negative energy that is stuck in causing all that gunk. Now you might not even know it's there, but if you have any type of emotional issues, this is a great go-to because it will, it, when you meditate with this, it focuses so much on the heart chakra. It's just going to really get into the, all those stagnant, stuck, negative, emotional energy and emotional patterns and really bring it to the surface and just get rid of it for you. So here's something else that is important. When you're working with Malachi, you have to understand this absorbs both negative and positive energies. It doesn't discriminate. It's going to pull all that in and hold it. So it's very important for you to cleanse this each and every time before every use. It will pull negative energy in and it will hold negative energy. And you could be working with that right out of the gate. So definitely after you're done with it or before you use it, you're going to want to cleanse it. Now, Malachi, I prefer, I mean, I've used, whether it's the fibrous or whatever, the easiest is polished because if you want to cleanse polish, it's very easy to run it under water. And that's my go-to for cleansing. But I would definitely not recommend that with pieces that are fibrous. Now, something like this, even though I really wouldn't call this fibrous, I've put this underwater. This exact specimen I've put underwater and it's totally fine. But ones like this, which has got all, if you put this under a microscope, it's got all times little fibers and holes and this will suck in the water. It could break the specimen, do damage to it. Definitely not something you want to do. You want to stay away from that. I honestly would, if you're going to work with malachite, get yourself a nice polished piece, something about this size, a little smaller. And you can lay this right on your heart, uh, right in the middle of your chest and just work with it that way. It'll help pull out all that negative, stuck, emotional trash that is causing issues. Now, the root of most, in my opinion, not all, not all, the root of most illnesses in my opinion, is stuck energy. It just blockages. And, and, and over the years, that disease is caused by that. And then it manifests itself physically through energy blocks and, and stagnant energy. Uh, Malachite is great for that when uh, using it with the energy system. It will bust up all that stuck energy and help that uh, universal life just force, just flow freely. And that's what really brings the balance to your system when working with malachite. It's a very balancing. It's great for manifestation. It's great for abundance. It is an amplifier. It is great for intention. It's wonderful to work with, and it's absolutely beautiful. So, like I said, definitely want to cleanse it. Never use salt either. Even on a polished piece, salt is also a cleanser. It will damage and ultimately soften the colors and patterns. And over time, if you keep putting salt on it, not good. Salt water, keep it away from malachite. Um, so this is going to keep you a, with a good, clean, optimistic outlook in it's just wonderful. It's wonderful to work with. Um, very easy to use. I commonly, whether you're holding it in your hand, I would put this right in the center of your chest on your heart chakra, whether you're at a kind of a laying position. And when you meditate with this, just focus on that emotion and it'll bring it easily right to the surface and can release it.
very easy to work with. So you're talking Malachite, you're talking all about the heart, all about emotions and getting rid of that stuck emotional energy and balancing your system. And like I said, not just the heart chakra, all chakras, but it, it starts in the heart when you're working with Malachite and it'll work its way through the rest of your uh, energy system. So that's about it for Malachite. Um, one other thing I did want to say is when you're working with you, let me show you this one too, by the way. This is a monster. This is one of my nicer pieces of malachite. I have this on a shelf. Um, it is massive and it's just got so much beauty. Look at all the patterns and, and malachite can get a little pricey, but it's worth it when you get a really nice piece, something like this that just draws people in. It's beautiful, beautiful to look at. Um, but one thing I did want to say, be careful. I had seen in crystal shops fake malachite. And fake malachite, it's kind of easy to spot. But here's the thing. They take real malachite and they crush it. Something like this, like a fibrous. They'll crush this into like a malachite dust and literally it comes out like a sand. And then they'll use, I don't know what's under there, plastic, because malachite can grow in like stalactite formations. And they'll take a stalactite or two, I don't know if it's plastic under there, and they, they spray the malachite dust sand they literally just spray it and glue it so when they say it's real malachite it technically is because it's crushed up malachite but it's not a real malachite stalactite so if you do see something like that and it looks a little off to you i would definitely question it or stay away from it they do kind of stick out like a sore thumb but i've seen it where people kind of don't know what they're getting and i don't know i wouldn't want that personally i would rather i'm all about all natural i mean technically it is natural malachite but you have to be careful so i would look out for stuff like that my favorite and easiest to use are polished pieces just like this so that's about it for malachite hope you guys like the video and i will see you next week